I'm going to show you how you can export all of your LinkedIn connections, add them to a spreadsheet, and find most of their work emails using only one tool. Let's get started. So the easiest way to export all of your connections is simply to go to LinkedIn. You can do that freely from your LinkedIn account. Click on your profile on the right-hand corner here, then go to Settings. Once it opens the settings, go to Data Privacy, and you'll see here a section that says Get Copy of Your Data. So when you click on it, it will ask you to request the type of data you want. I've done already a request, but I'm going to show you how you can do it as well. So request a new archive for myself. There's two sections here. If you want something in particular, like your articles, the different invitations you've sent, profiles, and so on, you can export that. Be careful, this profile means your profile actually. So what you want is this part here called connections. So you need to download a larger data archive. Previously, you could download your connections only, but it's not the case anymore. Doesn't mean it can't work. You just have to request a larger file. So click on request archive, and then LinkedIn is going to send it to you over email. Lucky for you, I've done the process already so I can show you how it works. You'll receive a zip file which you have to open and within that file you will have a CSV called connections. As you can see I have a connections.csv that weighs about 1.5 megabytes. This file I can open in my Google Drive folder and open it as a spreadsheet. So I've opened the file just so you can see what it contains. It says already notes. When exporting your connections data, you may notice that some of the email addresses are missing. You'll only see email addresses for connections who have allowed their connections to see or download the email address using the settings and so on. So that's a problem because I have a list here. If I remove everybody, I've prepared a another tab here. I have about 12,381 because it counts also the header. So 12,381 connections. The problem is I only have 336 emails in total and most of which are gmails yahoo emails these are personal emails that people may not necessarily monitor so now i have a list that is given by linkedin i recommend you to remove those three sections here uh, and format it exactly as i formatted here with the column headers being exactly the ones that are given by linkedin so first name last name url email address company position and connected on you don't necessarily need it but we can keep it so simply what you have to do is click on file download the csv and then we'll go to the next step head to Scalist.com. Scalist is the number one list building tool that allows you to organize your contacts, but also find their work emails and mobile numbers. So create a free trial account. It's going to give you a certain amount of credits to find emails or phone numbers if you want uh, of your contacts. So I've already got an account and I'm going to show you how to use it then. Once your account is created, head to this section called import CSV and you'll be able to upload the file and we'll upload that connection file that we saw. So in my case, I'm going to do this, just upload it here and I will have to match the columns. So this is a very important part. Make sure to match the right column columns with what Scalist has as columns. So here I have first name, last name that is already pre-filled. Here I know that this is the LinkedIn profile URL. Uh, okay, on this section, I'm aware that this is the email so that I don't lose the emails that I already got. Uh, or if I don't want them because these are uh, personal emails, I can unselect it and it'll just import the file without the emails. So here company is correct. And then I have this section that is a uh, title. So I'm going to select job title and this section, which was connected at, I don't really care about. So I'm just going to buy in columns and here I can call it my connections okay here I can see that the cost per email found is one credit this means that if no email has been found I will not be charged a credit the minimum information that I need to provide is first name last name company website which is recommended or the company name instead maximum file is 10 megabytes unless you have 200,000 connections I think you should be fine so now here I can get emails from the get-go. I can also untick this if I want specific emails. And in any case, I can always select to find the emails thereafter. I'm just gonna leave it unticked to show you the things that you can do. Import, my list has been successfully added and I can select who I want to search email for. So I can do that for a single lead or I can do that for all of the leads at the same time. I can also search and filter. So for instance here, I'm gonna search for a specific colleague. Here we go. Oh, and this person here from the Scale app, I will search the email for. So if I click on search email, I can select this email, search email. So it found Thibault's email successfully and it tells me it's also a valid email. Valid emails are emails that are safe to use and risky emails that are emails that we can find but are unverifiable. So they are not necessarily safe to use but it's up to you to decide whether you want to use it or not. So in this case, I can also search for all of the emails. I can pick who I want to export. So if I want to export everyone or I want to export um, Thibault only, I can select this or leads, valid emails or else. But I can also push to my CRM. In my case, 
I am using HubSpot, so I could push all of the leads right away to my HubSpot. So in order to search for all of the leads email, you can simply click on search email, click all leads, and that's done. But I've already done a list for you just to show you the output. On this example, I've imported a list of 1,522 CEOs in the IT industry based in the US, out of which Scalis found 1,410 emails, and it found 1,090 valid emails and 320 risky emails. In total, about 90% of emails were found. This is a high output. Typically, Scalist will output anywhere between 50 to 90% uh, of emails. So this is a great list for me, for example. And that's it. I can now simply export my file as a CSV with all of the valid emails or all of the leads. I can push it to my CRM, HubSpot in this example, and just go by with my outreach. If you want to learn how to export contacts from LinkedIn to your CRM, this video here is made just for that purpose. So over to you and happy scaling.